Person page can be visualized in many different ways and in this tutorial we are going to learn another technique to show percentage in the form of filled dots around the circumference of the circle. So without any further delays let's get started. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are gonna learn about and another technique to show percentage in Tableau. In our previous tutorials, we have learned about different ways to show percentage using infographics and using different shapes. So in this tutorial, we have come up with another technique. And as you can see in this dashboard, we are trying to show the sales percentage by different region. So in this case, we are using sample super data dataset. And as you can see, there is 31% of sales in the West region, 29% in the East region, and so on. And we are trying to show the same thing. Instead of bar chart, we are trying to show it with the dotted circles around the circumference of the circle. So you can see it here. The central region is 21.82 percentage, which is similar to what we have shown in the bar chart above and same way East region, South region, and West region. So how we can achieve this? So let's open a blank workbook. And in this case, I am already connected to Sample Superstore dataset. And the technique we need to use in creating this type of visualization to show percentage will be data densification. As you might have seen in my another previous tutorials, we have used these techniques to plot different circles on the circumference and different other radial bar chart and other charts where we have used data densification techniques. And we are going to use the same technique here. But instead of using the numbers by copying it in the data set from Excel spreadsheet like 0 to 100 or 0 to 360, I'll be using data densification by using existing dimension in this one. So first of all, I will be creating a path field. So in our previous tutorial, we have seen like I have used path in the form of a two values from Excel spreadsheet that is from 0 to 100, where I'll be plotting the numbers between 0 to 100 artificially. In this case, I'll be using existing dimension, which is ship mode. So what I will do, I will right click on the ship mode and I will create a new field as path. And I will simply say, if my ship mode is equal to first class, then give me zero. Otherwise, give me 360. So why we need 360 is because we are plotting 360 degrees or 360 numbers on the circumference of the circle. So that's why we need that. So let me fix the spelling mistake here. So from 0 to 360, we are plotting those at different angles in a circle. So I will simply click yes. Okay. And then I need to create a pen. So I will go again on the path field and create a pen on top of it. So the same way we used to do it before in our previous tutorials. But in this case, instead of using one step side or two, I will by default use it 15. You can anytime change it. So it's basically just defining the size of the bin. So if it is from 0 to 360, it will be 0, 15, 30, 45, 60, so on. So I will click OK. And then I need to create an index field. I will create an index field and it's nothing but index function. And normally it will start with 1. So I will subtract minus 1 to make sure that it starts from zero. So then I will click OK. And now I need X axis and Y axis. So I will create X axis by creating simply a formula, which we have again used in previous tutorial in our radial bar chart and other bar chart where we are using equation of the circle and a Pythagoras theorem. So with using that, I will get sign of radians and I will need index calculation, which I created. I will share the links of those dashboards as well in the description below where you can see how we got this formula. So here we have got the x-axis. 
same way we'll create the y-axis y-axis and I will say cos of radiant and index and we'll click OK so now it's the time to plot circle on this chart so first of all I will bring region into column shelf so we got all the four regions and then I will bring x-axis and y-axis and also I would like to bring path pin and I will bring it here and I will make sure we are showing all the missing values so once we have that there I will drag the path pin to the tail mark and you will see nothing is happening here so first of all we can change any shape we want so in this case I will be using circles filled circles and you can increase the size here a little bit so that it's visible and then I will go to the table calculation for x-axis and I will say compute using path pen and I will do the same thing for y-axis and if you reduce the size you will see here and when we hover over to each one of these circle you will see 0 15 30 so that's our bin size right and it is going till 360 so that's our points on the circle but you will see it, the circle is not created it's because the spacing between all these points it's not on the circumference of the circle so how we can do that so for that we need to make sure we create a calculated field for spacing and in that what we need is basically windows max for our path so what we are saying when we type this so in our path our maximum value is 360 so we are getting that 360 value and we are saying we need to divide that by the maximum value of the index so we will see windows max and we want to divide it by maximum value of the index so think of it this way like if we have 360 points on a circle and there are only 10 different points we need to plot on a circle then we will say 360 divided by 10 and we will show all the different spacing angles at which a, a point should be spaced so that's why we are dividing it by the maximum value of the index so once we do that we will simply click OK and then we will change the calculation in the x-axis so we will simply click on x-axis and we will edit the calculation and we will go here and multiply it by spacing we will do the same thing for y-axis we'll go and click edit and multiply this by spacing once we do that you will see everything is changed back into dots so now we have to edit the x-axis and y-axis table calculation and we will compute it using path pen and we will do the same thing for y-axis and change it to path pen and you will see the circle started to appear so that's that's pretty good now we want to just display the percentage and color only part of the these dots to make sure that the percentage is displayed properly so for that we will create a calculation for sales and we will simply do window sum and we will do sum of sales and we will copy this calculation and we will create another calculation of total sales and we will click OK and now we need to create a percentage so we will do percentage and what we will do here is we will see say sales divided by total sales and it will give us the percentage so now what we need is to display the color of the percentage separately to the color of the background but before that let's bring percentage into column shelf 
and we will make it to discrete. We'll bring it so you can see it here. Uh, and we will change the format to percentage. And even before that, what I want to do is let's bring, let's remove this first and let's bring another calculation which will be for our color field. So I will simply say here if our index of window calculation Windows max index calculation, this divided by this, it will give us a percentage value. So let's say if our index is 10 divided by 360, it will give us a percentage. And we are saying if that value is less than the percentage which we have calculated, then give me the Windows max of the region. So that will be the maximum value of that region. Uh, it will be giving it to me. Else keep the color gray. So let's do that and bring that color into the color shelf and you will see here the color is only shown for one dot which is not right it's because of the table calculation so i will click on the color and first of all i will change the path using pen and you will see all these are different colors this is because of the calculation which we did in the color where we said give me the windows max of the region so that is giving me unique value and that's where we are getting different colors and the one color is gray which we will change by just clicking on that and i want to use a gray color so now we need to do another table calculation editing we will go here and we will select total sales and i want this by region and you will see now the colors are only dotted colors are only shown for the part of the percentage but now we need to know what is the percentage right so now i will bring our percentage into the column shelf and you will see all of them are displaying in this way because it's a continuous field so i would like to change it to discrete and you will see the percentages are coming at the top then i will simply format it and change it to percentage and also i would like to increase the size of the label to let's say 14 and actually the size of this format I go to the font and change it to 12 size or maybe a little bit more bigger and now you can actually simply do the formatting and make it a bit more appealing so you can do it the way you want it so I will simply do it this way and the percentage are shown you can increase the size you want but one thing if you notice if i hover over to this one it will show you the path pin value of zero but if i show hover over to this one it's 345 and 360 is overlapped on this particular value so there are two values if we look into here two items are selected so how we can change that it's because of the spacing right the spacing we are doing it at a different angle and the zero and 360 is at the same point so we just want to edit the table calculation and you can multiply it by 0.96 which I have calculated and once I click that you will see these dots will be moved slightly and when I click apply you will see they are moved a little bit on the left side and now this value 360 which was overlapping before now they are separated so that way you can create this percentage chart and you can also see that the percentage are same by simply bringing region into column shelf and bringing sales and we will simply show it as a bar chart and I want to show sum of sales as percentage of total and I will show mark label and you can see it here that all these percentage are 21.82, 29.55 and that way and this is exactly same what we are showing it here that's how we create this dotted chart to show a percentage in a different way i hope you guys like this session and if you have any question please feel free to drop a comment below and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible thank you see you next time